Et salut à tous, c'est Fernando Bigo et on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour euh, un épisode de team building pour la euh, Hideout Draft Cup euh, pour notre première semaine pour euh, affronter les Calgary Flareons de Popper. Euh, voilà, je vais faire l'intro en français mais le reste de la vidéo euh, sera en anglais, je vais vous faire euh, team building et le match. So, um, the Calgary Flareons draft was uh, Mega Pencer, Ferro Thorin, Thunderous Incarnate, um, King Draft, Flygon, Pukumuku, um, Verizon, Kabutops, and Arbok. So, uh, looking at this matchup, it was like pretty much rain versus rain, and the uh, uh, Like I was feeling that his I, I had maybe a better rain than his uh, just because like I had pranksters uh, I, I've got two uh, pranksters uh, rain uh, seven months like uh, I mean I, I've got like two months who can uh, which can uh, set up rain uh, with uh, prankster with uh, priority. Um, uh, Klefki and Torn, uh, Tornadus Incarnate, which I have here in my team. So, uh, I was like feeling pretty confident because I had like Hunters and Check to the Panzer. Uh, Feral Thorn was kind of a problem, but I had like Hunters too. Uh, <coughs> Thunderous could definitely be a problem because he can beat my. Two Pranksters Mon, uh, and uh, like he had a, a really, really great matchup. But even I had two ground types, so like the uh, electric uh, spam was like pretty much cancelled. Um, Kingdra was an option because of my own rain and his rain. Like Kingdra was faster than my than my rain uh, abusers. Uh, under rain, Flygon was his uh, only ground type and only form of uh, hazard rem uh, hazards removal uh, with Kabutops, but I didn't s mm, see like the Kabutops coming. Uh, I was just confident uh, he wouldn't bring it because he didn't have like the best of the matchup against me. <clears throat> so for the for the uh, our book <coughs> so um, my team uh, looking at his team I was like yeah okay he do, he only has one immunity to electricity which is flygon so I am pretty free to like bring a a, a, a very offensive Raikou uh, on that matchup because like Raikou destroys Mega Pencer like it's a running care with uh, T Bolt uh, or Volt Switch. A Feral Thorn like doesn't appreciate like coming uh, repeatedly on T Bolt, uh, especially on Specs T Bolt with the uh, Penta uh, with the uh, possibility of uh, spikes uh, that I didn't take. For that game, uh, it might be I was not as confident for spikes, but yeah, I should uh, I could uh, bring them uh, honestly. Uh, why is there no music anymore? I was just yeah, just sorry if you see like the YouTube thing. Uh, uh, then again, I've got uh, extra sensory for. The uh, um, most of all, like Volt Switch, because momentum uh, it does hit very, very hard, I guess. Oh, okay, that's just a sound which is psychically <laughs> a bit. Um, Volt Switch for momentum hits hard with Bex T Ball for hitting hard everything, but the Flygon, uh, but the Flygon and the Virizion. Uh, uh, Hidden Power Ice was here 
uh, only for uh, Thunderous and Flygon, even if, even if um, T-Bolt uh, hits uh, Thunderous uh, uh, a lot harder, uh, IMO, um, I mean, in general, not IMO, like, not only IMO, like, in general, and the uh, Extra Sentry was definitely here for a uh, uh, potential viewer Virizin, Virizin, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, sorry. Uh, uh, because it was hitting harder than HP Ice, and uh, that thing had an amazing speed of stat, and like, it was one potential switch into Raikou. Uh, Thundercat. So, the EVs here just like uh, enough, uh, enough speed to outspeed Thunderous, and um, then uh, max special attack because we wanna hit strong, we wanna hit hard, and uh, the rest into speed F to tank maybe uh, King, uh, maybe uh, a Thunderous hit better, uh, a special flag and hit, so even if I See more uh, like an, uh, a physical flag on coming uh, for the version if it in case it is special, uh, just like dump the rest into speed up. Doesn't matter anyway, I guess. Yeah. So second mon we have is Wind Waker, the Tornado Incarnate. So. Uh, the ID and the game plan was maybe to like set up like to hit hard with a uh, Thundercat and hit hard with the rain because he doesn't appreciate like both like Ferrothorn doesn't appreciate coming on Raikou and uh, Mega Swampert in the back um, same thing with uh, Pukumuku uh, even if I guess like Puke doesn't come in on Raikou anyway even a uh, e, uh, same thing with Verizon, uh, I guess like things like that, uh, the more bulky things uh, because he does have uh, he does have a really really offensive uh, offensive uh, team, and uh, <clears throat> I I was like okay I need one rain setter because rain is great in, is great for. Uh, I like against that team because he doesn't have like much to counter a rain team he himself so he's weak to rain being a rain team I don't know if that makes sense but yeah like he it's he is water resist all like very very defensive like I mean bar feral thorn but like Kingdra doesn't appreciate like coming on an on an EQ anyway uh, Pukumuku either, uh, Dryzen doesn't like coming, uh, come on a uh, coming on a nice punch. Uh, Kabut Kabutops is one shot by EQ uh, and by Tibol, like in my draft. So I was feeling okay. I can break Rain because he's weak too. Um, like Rain Dance was obviously uh, a bring. Taunt was obviously a bring because I didn't want uh, any forms of setups like for the um, like uh, SD Pincer, uh, Nasty Block Thunderous, uh, Didn't Kingdra, Didn't Flygon, Random Skin Raider, and uh, totally shuts down the Pukumutu. Pukumuku uh, totally shuts down Ferrothorn uh, if that thing wants to set hazards. Uh, totally uh, shuts down the Arbok too, like I said, a, a classic coil Arbok if I'm not mistaken. It's totally shut down by that thing. Um, Heat Wave is there only for uh, Ferrothorn and to hit uh, Pens Mega Pencer and Verizon. Uh, super effectively without like without like taking less risk to miss because uh, heat rave is 
95% uh, 90% accurate and hurricane is only 70 so <clears throat> I mean it's 100% it's accurate in rain but if I don't have rain like having a more uh, accurate move to hit those two are great but heat wave is especially there for feral thorn uh, it's annoying in, in one it care no matter what uh, hurricane uh, it's the flying stab which is strong hits the mega pincer for one it care uh, feral thorn doesn't like to come into um, thunder is doesn't like to come on the on my attacks uh, Kingdra neither flagon takes half Pukumuku I guess could take one but I can I can taunt taunt after um, Vir Virizen is one shot by Hurricane um, Kabutops doesn't like I mean Steel takes a lot because it's not like very very bulky and uh, so does Arbok so uh, move pool is pretty simple here the heavy spread is uh, very very classic to max bait to speed tie with the uh, thunderous uh, max is a special tie because we need to hit hard too and uh, for in defense because yeah why not <coughs> um, then after we have Lord Envy uh, sorry I, you, you will just see I guess no okay I, I will do that that yeah, we just listen to that one, please. Okay, I don't know what it will give. I just discovered that then. So uh, the third mod I decided to bring was Pyro. Why? Because Pyro uh, brings me like uh, a fire type, which is really really strong against that team. Because uh, even if he has a rain team, Pencer doesn't like fire types attack, and neither does Fail Thorn, neither does Verizon. And uh, neither does uh, need like after I can just up or voice something and uh, yeah. Uh, I brought a double steps up toxic set because I figured it was the best set I could bring. I could have brought a specific hidden power, but I was like, hmm. I mean, he does have a feral soul, which is like the one of the main counter in the brain. So I have. To get rid of that of that thing, and uh, I was like, okay, I can definitely set up a sub on the um, on the feral thorn because he can't touch me. I will say, so I am dodging every like toxic, every thunder wave, every lit sheet feral thorn. Maybe uh, like wants to go for against me, even if like I, I just one shot with fire blast. Uh, then I am uh, um, hyper voice like hits things like uh, mega pincer for good damage even if I have, I have fire blast but uh, I mean like mega pincer has a time of four times weakness to stealth frost so uh, I mean setting a setting a like if I've got stealth rocks up I just like Kill it with hyper voice, so that's great. Um, Thunderous doesn't like coming on an upper voice, and uh, neither does Kingra, neither does Flagon. Uh, Pukumuku, I can just like sub on, sub on two and just toxic and uh, win win my stall war. And uh, Verizon, I've got Fire Blast. Uh, Kabutaps, I got like happy voice. And I can toxic him, and uh, Arbok, I can hit him with Fire Blast. Uh, I guess the EV Spirit was enough to outspeed the only, like, uh, Mega Panther, uh, the the fight is the fastest mod I could have, uh, I could have sped. So that that like, and the rest like, 250, 252 special attack to hit hard and eight in speed up. Because why not? Uh, why not? Like Lord MV making first appearance in first game. Love that the hit coming through. Uh, then we've got uh, Candice the Floge. Uh, Floge was here to specifically counter the Kingdra. Like the move that I have, like the Evil Spirit I have, uh, doesn't let me get to it go by a modest Hydro Pump. 
life orb in the rain. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's ridiculous, uh, Kingdra, uh, how strong Kingdra is. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the rest attempted to split up with Bolt Nature to uh, hit to tank a hit from the uh, flag on the VR of Verizon if it's physical, the cable tops, and the potentially the Mega Pincer, even if yeah, Mega Pincer like can destroy things and. I was, I mean, yeah, like to take one hit at least if need be, is what I meant, it is what I meant, sorry, call to English tonight. <coughs> um, the move pool here, like Moonblast because it's a storm, it's strong, hits Mega Pincer for good damage, uh, Thunder is in corner for good damage, Kindra for all. King Dragon Fly Guy for super effective damage. Uh, for Verizon, super effective damage. Uh, Kabutops doesn't like it, and uh, yeah, Albog does, but I'm not like too afraid of uh, Albog. I've got like things for Narbog, I guess. Uh, D'accord, pardon. Pardon, ok, je vais baisser le temps. Sorry, I will have to speak a little bit uh, smoother. I've got like a loud voice normally, so um, yeah. So Moonblast hit that thing, hit do things effectively. Wish for support with support, uh, support the team. Um, yeah, heal bell for uh, not being paralyzed or. By the Thunderous Incarnate, Prince the T Wave, uh, or neither the Fail Thorn or Toxic by Pukamuku, whatever. And Giga Dream was here to uh, one shot the, the tops, uh, hit the Pukamuku, and have some recovery. And he does let me, like, if I am in versus, uh, I, say, I, I might say, like, Kingdra, and I am not. Like I can take one air uh, and one hydro pump. I will take it and I mean no if I'm uh, like full HP I can like just Giga Dream to take another one and then kill with Moonblade because I don't want to take them like that. And uh, yeah that's hit uh, leftovers because for recovery. Yes, yeah, so I did miss up like an expert bill here for not having recall of life orb and here uh, left is because obviously I won't recover with this set. Um, fifth mon I decided to bring was my mega blue legend. Uh, max bid, max attack, I mean big big matchup against that team. Um, with the move pool, uh, the following move pool, EQ, which does really, really well. Like one shot Caputo, one shot Arbok. Does great damage to Kingdra, does great damage to Puke. Feral Thorn doesn't like common. Uh, so, yeah. Then after Stealth Rock, because I, I only got like two Stealth Rocks in Minecraft. Got Charm, which I didn't take because things. There was too many, too many threats for Gatron to come, uh, in my opinion, I am out. And uh, yeah, Sulfur, because Mega Pincer, Thunder is and chip damage for everyone. Waterfall, uh, because in the rain destroys everything, both for Thorn and can grab it. Yeah, and I spent for uh, hitting the Thorn neutral. Killing the Thunder is super effectively, and then the King Drive for neutral, the Flag on for neutral, the Verdeon, uh, the Vizion for <coughs> super effective damage, uh, and yeah, that's it. Blue Lagoon. And then we have Stevia because I didn't want to lose to potential DD Flag on uh, a, a potential VR. Verizon and that's my only spinner, so I was afraid of uh, stealth rocket spikes from Ferrothorn, so I wanted a spinner. So, spin is here. U turn for momentum. Uh, obviously, a drop kick is there to hit uh, his 
voodoo types like Kingdra, like um, Cabal types like Puke. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Jump Kick was there for the Fair Thorn and the Eevees are like for much XP, like for not number and etc. Uh, because why not? And then like a max defense to take on the um, Flygon, the Verizon, and the Kabutops mainly. So that's uh, that's the end of the team builder. We will go now to the game. See you then. And back to the game we are, and uh, we can see that uh, the Calgary Flareons uh, brought uh, a team of Thunderous Incarnate, Mega Pinsir, Ferrothorn, Flygon, Kingdra, and uh, Verizon. So it was pretty much what I expected. Maybe I didn't see like the. Flygon coming, I maybe saw more of a Pukumuku to like kind of counter my rain team, even if it was like a free setup for potential uh, calm, uh, calm mine Raikou. So it makes sense that they brought uh, Flygon uh, because it's uh, it is a, uh, an electric immunity too, so kind of useful to. Um, yeah, so. We are gonna go in the uh, in the game right uh, right uh, now, and uh, yeah, I, I decided to lead with the uh, Raikou, uh, me, like feeling like I could have momentum uh, on almost everything. But yeah, they led with uh, Raikou uh, with uh, the counter to Raikou flag on, and I was like, fuck, I can't risk. Uh, an EQ turn one, so mm, uh, toth turn, so they can bring Ferrothorn in on my Swan Chain uh, to Candice, my floor. So, yeah, basically, we are uh, at the end of turn one, and uh, I basically like reveal a wind scarf. Uh, I, I, yeah, okay, I want to just wanted to be sure. Uh, I wasn't like, I, I just revealed like I wasn't scarfed. So it was kind of uh, yeah. I mean, he, he knew that his flagon could be an answer, pretty much uh, a not a not overall check to my Raikou. So yeah, and there like here his first son can, can can like freely set up hazards, uh, meaning like first of all rocks because it damaged uh, just a lot uh, of my team. Uh, as I said on my uh, pyro, so I decided to set up a sub here, predicting the switch, but they decided to go for a spike, so I was kind of in a good spot here, uh, and I just decided to go for a fire blast just to damage everything that I want to come in. Uh, now that's they switch, uh, I mean a bit obviously to Kingdra, even if I could, uh, I mean. In my head, I thought they were like they they could probably switch out to a potential uh, Verizon predicting an, an Niper Voice, like not taking too much damage because uh, Verizon has a crazy health speed up and uh, switching to Flygon. But after a bit of damage uh, in my head, like I I called that it was maybe the best play just to go for Fire Blast, even if I could have missed, but Fortunately, I don't, and uh, I cannot damage a bit this king right now. I decided to toxic it, put it on the timer to limit his switching, and he reveals to be a uh, hydro pump variance and not a surf variance, uh, which is, I guess, good because last PP and uh, uh, chance to miss. So I decided, obviously, to switch out to my counter to this thing which is Candice and uh, they just decide to switch out to Mega Pinsir I guess yeah <coughs> which is already Mega Oval but it doesn't matter for the end of the game because she doesn't like take any damage so doesn't matter here so I pretty much decided like to go to Raikou uh, in case he just want to uh, 
set up a, an SD uh, like you know what if you wanna set up an SD here I just go in that thing and then like I can kill you with a, a thunderbolt like putting the pressure on uh, but like because Flood isn't like tanking that thing well and uh, Moonlight does not like to it care so it wasn't worth the trade because I needed Flodgers for uh, flag on and king during the back so I decided to go in my Raikou and uh, they do go for the return and I take a whole lot of damage and uh, here I decided to go for the vault switch predicting the uh, feral thought switching because uh, I guess in my head like flygon was so a predictable switch for me like okay just like to block the vault switch I could I could like so easily for an HPI saying get rid of flygon easily uh, I wasn't sure if he would uh, if he would uh, like just uh, just like uh, risk uh, their flag on there because if flag on was gone like it was uh, a huge offensive pressure gone for like my uh, Tyrena in the back even my uh, Floatress meaning that it could be especially there like for the uh, Kingdra and the Verizon to one extent so I decided to go here for the Vault Switch and they risked their flag on play that I could uh, predict in and go for an HPIs but I mean it wasn't worth the risk for me like just to do so bother prediction because if Feral, so if Feral Thorn uh, came out I was like in a bad spot because he could just like set up hazard again and uh, put the pressure on me or even in making a double predicting my pyro to want to come out again so I mean, that play, like, the this switch in Flygon was definitely the uh, a play that lost me more momentum than, than I have, uh, I had already, uh, already lost, so, yeah, I, I decided there to go in my uh, Tarina to uh, tank the potential uh, EQ, uh, because I, I, I thought, like, okay, I thought, already showed my switch into uh, Flodras on the first turn to this Flygon so I'm not sure, I, I, I'm pretty sure he won't go for the uh, obvious, like he won't go for the outrage because then again like Flodras again can do, I can just double switch after so yeah I mean Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a. Yeah, I mean, just to tank the EQ, and they go for the outrage, which does 40%. So I was. No, okay. Yeah, like that turn. Uh, on the switching, they go for uh, outrage. And uh, I was pretty much like, ah, oh, come on. I could have switched down, and. Uh, in uh, in candies my floor just so uh, now it did 40% and I was like okay I can live on a sliver and spin away uh, that uh, these hazards I won't have much opportunity to spin later because I'm low and uh, it's roll like it does 41% uh, after and I'm just like oh, come on like that's Mm, that wasn't for me a play like I mean that play totally threw me off guard and uh, uh, I was uh, uh, I was like yeah why I mean now I am in bad spot I can't spin the hazard hazard will pressure me and uh, I mean the game was not over so they locked into outreach and maybe here I was like not confident enough to click Moonblast even if I should have in IMO because they were locked in so I could have wished after if that makes sense so I decided to like basically Moonblast here so I should have like in invert like that 
these two turns to be in a better spot. But my uh, floor just ended up full life is great for the Kingdra in the back and the Flygon too. Uh, so I decided here to go, you know what, to go in my Tornadus to taunt that thing, prevent him to set up hazards. He set up another spike so on that switching, which is really, really interesting. So that means that my Raikou here does go down to hazards. Now, I go for the Heat Wave and kill the Feral Soul, uh, avoiding the 6 0 And getting rid of one of these switches to float just too. So here they go like in the uh, thunderous side they uh, sack my uh, Raikou obviously I can't like do anything again with. So Thunderbolt is a thing. I decided to go in Candice and just uh, I guess Moonblast here as he taught me to prevent me from wishing I guess or maybe hillbilling uh even if yeah private myths from virtuing and i i just like throw off a moon blast just to do damage uh as he goes for the t wave after i don't know why and i uh, i get a uh, pretty much a low roll on the second moon blast which is kind of a bummer because uh, if I would have killed the Thunderous, I could have been in a better position uh, because I could have just like set up rain with my uh, Prankster uh, man and uh, sweep after all. So here I decided to go in my Blue Lagoon, the only thing that could possibly take an attack from Pinsir. I mean, on the double switch, uh, I predicted uh, him to go into Pinsir, so I wanted to go into my. to go into my. Um, a Swamper to make evolve and uh, here is a pretty tough turn I should say because yeah here the double switch happen happens uh, may, uh, I will yeah please thank you so here like at the end of the turn we are like Swamper versus Panzer and I was like okay that turn is pretty much decisive. Like, do I ice punch just to do damage because I don't have rock slide? I I was like, uh, I had a waterfall, ice punch, uh, EQ, and uh, stealth rock, and I was debating between ice punching or sending up rocks because uh, putting up rocks means that pincer comes at fifty percent, thunderous is die uh, is gone, and uh, I could just sweep, sweep after with the rain, but as you saw already, I decided to like it was a 50-50 because if he stayed in, I I was lo I lost so much from that turn, so I decided to be safe and just hit uh, what uh, could switching. I mean, literally not so much things. So um, Kingdra come in uh, taking 37% with. Toxic damage, it's pretty much a 2 KO, but I decided to go in my Candice because I was afraid of the Spex Hydro Pump. Had they revealed uh, the uh, Hidden Power Grass, which was definitely here for the Swamper. Now, they switch out into Pinsir, and I decided to wish here. Just to be safe, I could have Moonblast too, but I was like, okay, I need that thing healthy again, so I ha I have to wish up, and then I go to my uh, Swamper, like, okay, meaning like knowing maybe I can tank a hit, and then like get back to a good amount with the wish up. Uh, I ended up full life and like the pencil is here and just set him in SD and sweeps me, and it's. Basically here it's uh, it's it's basically just a sweep because with hazards nothing can nothing can take a hit and uh, yeah that's game. Like there's a few turns I could have like played better. Uh, uh, first of all the the mid game I mean the the beginning of the game I could have just yeah. You know, like have a better lead and whatnot. I didn't have the momentum I would have liked to have uh, in that game, so it really, really threw me off. And uh, 
so yeah kind of a bummer here but hope you will still enjoy uh, it was you both in under bigo uh, for the week one of the hdc probably it's got some slots 5-0 but we will maybe make it through in that league i hope uh, but yeah see you next time